Ebola, Zika, West Nile, dengue. All of these are diseases caused by pathogens that have recently spread to new regions and continents, including North America. Why? One of the main reasons is that the world is now more interconnected than ever before. With international trade agreements and advances in technology, travel and shipping are now fast, cheap, and safe. People and goods move farther and faster today than in the past, and with all this intended movement of people and packages comes the unintended movement of parasites and pathogens and the insect species that spread them. In 2014, mysterious cases of a previously unrecognized disease appeared in Florida, following a large outbreak of a similar disease across the Caribbean islands. People became sick with fever and were doubled over in pain. It was a disease called chikungunya, which means contorted with pain in the native language of the people where the disease originates in East Africa. Surprisingly, many people affected by this disease had not traveled outside of their home country. The disease was being spread locally. Chikungunya is caused by a virus transmitted by mosquitoes. So how did this virus and the mosquito spread so far? One mosquito that spreads the chikungunya virus is the Asian tiger mosquito, known by the scientific name Aedes albopictus, and it has traveled the globe from its native home in Asia by hitching rides on cargo ships. The Asian tiger mosquito has been introduced to every continent except Antarctica. This set the stage for diseases like chikungunya to spread. When people travel on vacation to places where chikungunya is common, Southeast Asia for example, they can become infected with the virus and unknowingly bring it home. If they live in an area where the Asian tiger mosquito thrives and are bitten by one of these mosquitoes, it's possible the mosquito can then spread it to others in their household or to neighboring communities. When an insect that transmits infectious diseases, like the Asian tiger mosquito, can thrive in many climates, the global spread of diseases it transmits becomes more likely. Scientists expect to see more mysterious diseases showing up in new places in the coming decades. And it's not only human diseases that are spreading. Global trade and travel are also spreading diseases that threaten livestock, crops, and wildlife. But it's not all gloom and doom, with new global scale data sets on infectious disease distributions and leading edge analytical tools, scientists are developing knowledge and understanding that can help solve these problems. How globalization drives the spread of diseases is the focus of current research, including studies by a team of scientists in the Macroecology of Infectious Disease Research Coordination Network. With financial support from the National Science Foundation and access to global environmental and infectious disease databases, this team is using new data science tools like machine learning to quantify and predict the spread of diseases around the world. To learn more about our research, visit the Research Coordination Network website. To learn more about chikungunya and other mosquito-transmitted viruses, check out what the CDC has to say.